Welcome to Miss Scarlet. Subscribe and don't miss out on Patreon. Have fun! Empty pizza boxes and soda cans littered the coffee table, evidence of another lazy weekend spent indoors. Ridge slouched on the worn leather couch, absently flipping through channels on the TV. Alice sprawled in the armchair nearby, scrolling mindlessly on her phone. God, I'm so bored. Ridge groaned, tossing the remote aside. How is it possible there's nothing good on with 500 channels? Alice glanced up from her phone. Welcome to the wonderful world of cable, my friend. All quantity, no quality. She stretched languidly, her oversized t-shirt riding up to reveal a sliver of midriff. We could always, you know, go outside or something. Ridge snorted. In this heat? No thanks. I'd rather die of boredom than heat stroke. Fair point. Alice's brow furrowed as she considered their limited options. Suddenly, her eyes lit up with mischievous glee. Oh, I've got it! Let's play dress-up! Ridge quirked an eyebrow. What are we? Five? Oh, come on! It'll be fun! We can swap clothes! I've always wondered what I'd look like in your jeans. And what? You want me to squeeze into one of your dresses? Ridge scoffed, but there was a hint of intrigue in his voice. Alice grinned, sensing his wavering resolve. Why not? Live a little, Ridge, unless you're too chicken. Please, I'm not falling for that old trick. Bok bok! Alice flapped her arms, doing her best chicken impression. Ridge rolled his eyes, fighting back a smile. Real mature, Al. Come on! She wheedled. What else are we going to do today? At least this'll be good for a laugh. Ridge sighed heavily, knowing he'd already lost this battle. Fine, but if you put this on Instagram, I swear to God... My lips are sealed, Alice promised, miming zipping her mouth shut. She bounced to her feet, practically vibrating with excitement. This is going to be hilarious. Wait here, I'll go grab some options. As Alice disappeared into her bedroom, Ridge found himself oddly nervous. It was just a silly game. So why did his palms feel clammy? He wiped them on his jeans, trying to shake off the weird feeling in the pit of his stomach. Alice returned a few minutes later, arms laden with clothes. She dumped the pile onto the couch next to Ridge. All right, take your pick. We've got sundresses, skirts, blouses. Ooh, and this cute little romper I never wear. Ridge eyed the heap of fabric warily. Uh, I guess the sundress? Seems easiest to put on. Excellent choice, sir, Alice said with mock formality. She plucked a flowing yellow dress from the pile and tossed it to him. Your dressing room awaits. I'll change in my room. Ridge retreated to the bathroom, locking the door behind him. He stared at his reflection in the mirror, suddenly feeling foolish. What was he doing? He shook his head, chuckling at his own nervousness. It was just clothes, for crying out loud. Nothing to get worked up about. He stripped off his t-shirt and jeans, leaving them in a crumpled heap on the tile floor. The dress felt impossibly soft as he slipped it over his head. He tugged it into place, surprised by how light and airy it felt against his skin. Ridge smoothed the fabric over his hips, studying his reflection critically. The dress hugged his chest in a way that should have looked ridiculous, but somehow didn't. The skirt flared out gently from his waist, swishing around his knees. He gave an experimental twirl, watching the fabric billow out around him. A strange warmth bloomed in his chest. He felt pretty. The thought startled him, but he couldn't deny the little thrill that ran through him 
as he admired his transformed silhouette. You decent in there? Alice called from the hallway. Come on, I want to see! Ridge took a deep breath, squaring his shoulders. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Prepare to be dazzled by my stunning beauty. He opened the door with a flourish, striking an exaggerated pose. Ta-da! What do you think? Do I make this dress look good or what? Alice's jaw dropped. She was wearing Ridge's favorite jeans and a baggy flannel shirt, her hair tucked up under a backwards baseball cap. But Ridge barely registered her outfit, too caught up in the way she was staring at him. Holy crap, Alice breathed. Ridge, you look amazing. Ridge felt his face grow hot. Oh, come on. I look ridiculous. No, I'm serious. Alice circled him slowly, taking in the full effect. That color is perfect on you. And your legs. Who knew you were hiding those gams under baggy jeans all this time? Ridge laughed, but it came out slightly strangled. Why did her words make him feel so... giddy? Well, you don't look half bad yourself, he deflected, gesturing to her outfit. Although I think my jeans might be a little long on you, Shorty. Alice stuck out her tongue. Hey, not all of us can be freakishly tall. Besides, the baggy look is in right now. She grabbed his hand, tugging him towards the full-length mirror in the hallway. Come on, we have to document this moment for posterity! They stood side by side, studying their reflections. Ridge was struck by how natural Alice looked in his clothes, like she'd been wearing them her whole life. But his own transformation was far more drastic. The dress softened his angular features, lending a grace to his normally awkward frame. We make a pretty good-looking couple, huh? Alice elbowed him playfully. Ridge nodded, unable to tear his eyes away from his reflection. Yeah, we really do. They spent the next hour trying on different outfits, laughing and posing for ridiculous selfies. Ridge found himself genuinely enjoying the experience, reveling in the swish of skirts and the delicate feel of blouses against his skin. As the afternoon wore on, their giggles subsided into comfortable silence. Ridge flopped onto the couch, still wearing a floral wrap dress. Alice curled up beside him in his favorite hoodie, her legs tucked underneath her. This was fun, Ridge said softly. Thanks for talking me into it. Alice nudged him with her shoulder. Anytime. Although I gotta say, I think you ended up enjoying it even more than I did. Ridge felt a flicker of panic. Had he been that obvious? What? No, I mean, it was just a laugh, right? Alice gave him a knowing look. Ridge, come on. I saw the way you kept checking yourself out in the mirror. You were totally into it. Ridge opened his mouth to protest, then closed it again. What was the point in denying it? This was Alice, his best friend since they were kids. If he couldn't be honest with her, who could he be honest with? I, yeah, I guess I was, he admitted, staring down at his hands. Is that weird? Alice's expression softened. Of course not. Lots of guys like wearing women's clothes. It doesn't have to mean anything if you don't want it to. Ridge nodded slowly, processing her words. I don't know what it means. I just know that when I put on that first dress... I felt... different. Good different. Then, that's all that matters, Alice said firmly. She hesitated for a moment, then added, You know, if you wanted to borrow some of my clothes sometimes, that would be okay. More than okay, actually. I'd be honored. Ridge's head snapped up, eyes wide with surprise. Really? 
You wouldn't think it was strange? Alice smiled, reaching out to squeeze his hand. Ridge, you're my best friend. If wearing a dress makes you happy, then I'm all for it. Besides, she added with a wink, you've got better legs than me anyway. It'd be a crime to keep them covered up all the time. Ridge laughed, feeling a weight lift from his shoulders. Thanks, Al. You're the best. You know that? Oh, I know, she said smugly. Now come on, let's order some Chinese food. All this gender bending has worked up my appetite. As Alice went to grab the takeout menus, Ridge found himself lingering in front of the mirror. He smoothed his hands over the soft fabric of the dress, admiring the way it draped over his body. For the first time in his life, he felt truly comfortable in his own skin. Little did he know, this was just the beginning of a journey that would change his life forever. Over the next few weeks, Ridge found himself thinking about that afternoon more and more. He'd catch himself daydreaming about the feel of silk against his skin, the swish of a skirt around his legs. At first, he tried to push the thoughts away, embarrassed by his own desires. But they persisted, growing stronger with each passing day. Finally, after nearly a month of internal struggle, Ridge worked up the courage to approach Alice again. They were hanging out in her apartment, as usual, when he cleared his throat nervously. Hey, Al. Remember when you said I could borrow some of your clothes if I wanted? Alice looked up from her laptop, a slow smile spreading across her face. Yeah, of course. Why, you finally ready to embrace your inner fashionista? Ridge chuckled some of the tension easing from his shoulders. Something like that. I was thinking maybe I could try on a few things. If the offer still stands, that is. Are you kidding? I've been waiting for you to ask. Alice leapt up from the couch, practically dragging Ridge towards her bedroom. I may have gone a little overboard shopping lately, just in case. She threw open her closet doors, revealing a section of clothes that definitely hadn't been there before. Dresses, skirts, and blouses in a variety of styles and colors hung neatly, tags still attached. Ridge's eyes widened. Al, you didn't have to do all this. Please, like I need an excuse to shop. Alice waved off his concern. Besides, I figured you might be more comfortable in stuff that hasn't been worn before. No pressure or anything, but if you find something you like, consider it yours. Emotion welled up in Ridge's throat. He pulled Alice into a tight hug, overwhelmed by her thoughtfulness. You're amazing. You know that? Alice returned the embrace, her voice muffled against his chest. Yeah, yeah, I'm a saint. Now hurry up and try something on before I start crying and ruin my mascara. Ridge laughed, wiping at his own suspiciously damp eyes. He turned back to the closet, running his fingers over the soft fabrics. After a moment of deliberation, he selected a simple black skirt and a pale blue blouse. Good choice, Alice nodded approvingly. Classic, but with a modern twist. I'll let you change in private. Just come out when you're ready, okay? Ridge nodded gratefully, waiting until she left the room before stripping off his jeans and t-shirt. His hands shook slightly as he pulled on the skirt, fumbling with the zipper. The blouse came next, the silky material cool against his skin. He stood in front of Alice's full-length mirror, hardly daring to breathe. The person staring back at him was both familiar and utterly foreign. The skirt hugged his hips before flaring out, accentuating his long legs. The blouse draped elegantly, softening the sharp angles of his shoulders. For a moment, Ridge couldn't move. He was transfixed by his own reflection, overcome by a sense of rightness he'd never experienced before. This 
was him. The real him, stripped of society's expectations and his own self-imposed limitations. Ridge? Alice called from the living room. You okay in there? Her voice snapped him out of his reverie. Yeah, I'm... I'm coming out. He took a deep breath, squaring his shoulders before opening the bedroom door. Alice was perched on the edge of the couch, practically vibrating with anticipation. When she saw him, her eyes went wide. Oh my god, she breathed. Ridge, you look incredible. Ridge felt his face flush with pleasure. Yeah, it's not too much? Are you kidding? It's perfect. Alice circled him slowly, taking in every detail. How does it feel? Ridge considered the question carefully. How did it feel? There were so many emotions swirling through him, it was hard to put them into words. It feels... right, he said finally. Like I'm finally seeing the real me, you know? Alice's eyes shimmered with unshed tears. I'm so happy for you, Ridge, and so proud of you for having the courage to explore this part of yourself. Ridge pulled her into another hug, overcome with gratitude for her unwavering support. I couldn't have done it without you, Al. Thank you for, well, everything. They spent the rest of the afternoon playing dress-up, just like that first day. But this time, there was no awkwardness, no hesitation. Ridge tried on outfit after outfit, marveling at how each piece made him feel more and more like himself. As the sun began to set, casting long shadows across Alice's living room, Ridge found himself reluctant to change back into his own clothes. You know, Alice said, sensing his hesitation, you could take some of these home with you if you want. No pressure or anything, but they're yours if you want them. Ridge's heart raced at the prospect. The idea of having these clothes, his clothes, in his own space, was both thrilling and terrifying. Are you sure? He asked, hating how small his voice sounded. Alice squeezed his hand reassuringly. Of course I'm sure. Ridge, seeing you like this, I've never seen you look so happy, so comfortable in your own skin. If wearing these clothes does that for you, then I want you to have them. All of them. Tears pricked at Ridge's eyes for what felt like the hundredth time that day. I don't know what to say, Al. Thank you doesn't seem like enough. Then don't say anything, Alice replied with a gentle smile. Just promise me you'll keep exploring this part of yourself, okay? And that you'll always remember how amazing you look and feel right now. Ridge nodded unable to speak past the lump in his throat. He gathered up an armful of clothes, carefully folding each piece before placing it in one of Alice's reusable shopping bags. As he prepared to leave, Ridge hesitated at the door. He was still wearing the black skirt and blue blouse, having changed back into his own shoes. Maybe I should change back, he said uncertainly. What if someone sees me? Alice shook her head firmly. Screw what anyone else thinks. You look fantastic. And more importantly, you feel fantastic. Own it, Ridge. The world can handle a guy in a skirt. Ridge took a deep breath, squaring his shoulders. You're right. Thanks, Al. For everything. Anytime, babes. She winked. Now get out of here before I start ugly crying. Text me when you get home safe, okay? Ridge nodded, giving her one last quick hug before heading out into the warm evening air. As he walked to his car, he was acutely aware of the swish of fabric around his legs, the gentle breeze against his exposed skin. 
To his surprise, he didn't feel scared or self-conscious. Instead, a sense of freedom washed over him. For the first time in his life, Ridge felt truly, authentically himself. He climbed into his car, carefully arranging the bag of clothes on the passenger seat. As he drove home, Ridge couldn't stop smiling. He knew this was just the beginning of a long journey of self-discovery, but with Alice's support and his newfound courage, he was ready to face whatever came next. The following weeks were a whirlwind of emotions for Ridge. He found himself spending more and more time in Alice's borrowed clothes, relishing the freedom and self-expression they provided. At first, he only wore them in the privacy of his own apartment, afraid of what others might think. But gradually, his confidence grew. One sunny Saturday morning, Ridge stood in front of his closet, deliberating. He had plans to meet Alice for brunch at their favorite cafe, and he was torn between his usual jeans and t-shirt combo and a flowy sundress he'd been dying to wear out. Screw it, he muttered, reaching for the dress. If not now, when? He slipped the dress over his head, relishing the feel of soft cotton against his skin. The pale yellow fabric complemented his olive complexion perfectly, and the empire waist accentuated his lean frame. Ridge studied his reflection critically, adjusting the thin straps and smoothing out non-existent wrinkles. A flutter of nerves danced in his stomach as he contemplated leaving the safety of his apartment. What if people stared? What if someone said something cruel? Ridge took a deep breath, squaring his shoulders. You can do this, he told his reflection firmly. You look amazing, and more importantly, you feel amazing. That's all that matters. With a final nod of determination, Ridge grabbed his keys and headed out the door. The warm summer air caressed his bare legs as he walked to his car, and he found himself reveling in the sensation. Why had he waited so long to experience this simple pleasure? As he drove to the cafe, Ridge found his anxiety slowly melting away. He caught glimpses of himself in the rearview mirror, marveling at how natural he looked in the dress. It wasn't a costume or a disguise. It was simply another facet of who he was. He pulled into the parking lot, spotting Alice waiting for him at an outdoor table. She waved enthusiastically as he approached, her face lighting up with pride and excitement. Look at you! She exclaimed, jumping up to give him a hug. You look absolutely gorgeous, Ridge. I'm so proud of you for taking this step. Ridge returned the embrace, feeling a weight lift from his shoulders. Thanks, Al. I was pretty nervous, but it feels right, you know? They settled into their seats, falling into easy conversation as they perused the menu. Ridge was acutely aware of the curious glances from other patrons, but to his surprise, they didn't bother him as much as he'd feared. Most people seemed more interested in their own meals than in his choice of attire. As they waited for their food to arrive, Alice leaned forward, her expression serious. So, how are you really doing with all of this? I know it's a big change. Ridge considered the question carefully. Honestly, I feel free, like I've been wearing a mask my whole life, and I'm finally letting the real me shine through. He chuckled softly. I know that probably sounds cheesy as hell. Alice shook her head, reaching across the table to squeeze his hand. Not at all. I'm just so happy you're finding yourself, Ridge. You deserve to feel comfortable in your own skin. Their food arrived, momentarily pausing the conversation. As they dug into their meals, Ridge found himself people-watching, noting the wide variety of styles and expressions around them. You know, he said between bites of his omelet, 
I used to think I had to fit into this narrow definition of masculinity. Like, if I showed any interest in feminine things, it somehow made me less of a man. He shook his head ruefully. Now I realize how ridiculous that is. Clothes don't define gender. They're just... clothes. Alice nodded encouragingly. Exactly. It's all just fabric and social constructs. Wear what makes you feel good. Screw what anyone else thinks. As they finished their meal, Ridge found himself filled with a sense of contentment he'd never experienced before. Here he was, sitting in a public place wearing a dress, having brunch with his best friend. And the world hadn't ended. If anything, he felt more like himself than ever before. Hey, Al, he said as they prepared to leave. Thanks again for everything. I don't think I could have done this without your support. Alice beamed at him. That's what friends are for, Ridge. I'm just glad I get to be part of your journey. She linked her arm through his as they walked to their cars. So, what's next on the agenda? Shopping spree? Manny petties? The world is your oyster, my friend. Ridge laughed, feeling light and carefree. You know what? Both of those sound pretty great. Lead the way, fashion guru. As they drove off towards the mall, Ridge couldn't help but marvel at how much his life had changed in just a few short weeks. He knew there would be challenges ahead. Explaining his newfound style to his family, navigating the complexities of gender expression in a sometimes unforgiving world. But for now, he was content to simply be himself, one fabulous outfit at a time. The following months were a period of profound growth and self-discovery for Ridge. With Alice's unwavering support, he continued to explore his newfound passion for feminine clothing, gradually incorporating more pieces into his everyday wardrobe. What had started as a secret, private experiment was slowly becoming an integral part of his identity. One crisp autumn afternoon, Ridge stood in front of his closet, surveying the transformation that had taken place. Dresses and skirts now hung alongside his jeans and button-downs, a visual representation of his journey. He ran his fingers over the various fabrics, marveling at how each piece made him feel more authentically himself. A knock at the door startled him out of his reverie. "'Come in,' he called, recognizing Alice's familiar pattern. She burst into the room, arms laden with shopping bags. "'Okay, so I may have gone a little overboard, but hear me out. There was a sale, and I couldn't resist.' Ridge laughed, helping her unload her haul onto the bed. "'Al, you're incorrigible. I don't need any more clothes.' Nonsense! Alice scoffed, pulling out a shimmering emerald green cocktail dress. Every wardrobe needs a little glamour. Besides, I thought you might want something special for your birthday next week. Ridge's eyes widened as he took in the dress. It was stunning, sleek and sophisticated, with delicate beading along the neckline. His heart raced at the thought of wearing something so bold and beautiful. It's gorgeous, he breathed, running his hand over the silky fabric. But I don't know, Al. Isn't it a bit much for just dinner with you and a few friends? Alice's expression turned mischievous. Well, about that, I may have planned a slightly bigger celebration than we originally discussed. Ridge narrowed his eyes suspiciously. Alice, what did you do? She held up her hands in mock surrender. Nothing too crazy, I promise. I just thought, you know, since this is your first birthday, since embracing this part of yourself, maybe we could have a proper party? Invite some of our more open-minded friends. Go dancing at that new LGBTQ-friendly club downtown? Ridge felt a flutter of panic in his chest. I don't know, Al. That's a lot of people. 
What if they don't understand? What if they judge me? Alice's expression softened. She took Ridge's hands in hers, squeezing gently. Ridge, listen to me. The people I've invited are our true friends. The ones who love you for exactly who you are. This is a chance to celebrate the amazing person you've become. To show the world the real you. Ridge took a deep breath, considering her words. The idea was terrifying, but also exhilarating. He thought about how far he'd come in the past few months, how much more confident and comfortable he felt in his own skin. Okay, he said finally, a small smile tugging at his lips. Let's do it. But if anyone gives me grief, I'm hiding behind you all night. Alice squealed with delight, pulling him into a tight hug. It's going to be amazing, I promise. Now, come on. We have to start planning your outfit. This is going to be a night to remember. The week leading up to Ridge's birthday was a whirlwind of preparations. Alice threw herself into party planning with gusto, while Ridge alternated between excitement and paralyzing anxiety. The night before the big event, he found himself standing in front of the mirror, the emerald green dress hanging nearby. You can do this, he told his reflection firmly. You're strong, you're beautiful, and you deserve to be happy. The words felt strange on his tongue, but he forced himself to repeat them until they started to feel true. This was his chance to fully embrace who he was, to show the world the person he'd kept hidden for so long. When the night of the party finally arrived, Ridge's nerves were at an all-time high. Alice had rented out a private room at the club, promising an intimate gathering of their closest friends. As Ridge slipped into the emerald dress, he felt a familiar thrill run through him. The fabric hugged his body in all the right places, making him feel elegant and powerful. Alice arrived to pick him up, looking stunning in a sleek black jumpsuit. Her eyes widened as she took in Ridge's appearance. Holy smokes, she breathed. Ridge, you look absolutely incredible. Are you ready to knock some socks off? Ridge took a deep breath, smoothing his hands over the dress. As ready as I'll ever be. Let's do this. The club was already pulsing with energy when they arrived. As they made their way to the private room, Ridge felt countless eyes on him. But instead of the judgment he'd feared, he saw admiration, curiosity, and, in some cases, clear attraction. The door to their reserved space swung open, revealing a crowd of familiar faces. For a moment, the room fell silent as everyone took in Ridge's transformed appearance. Then, as if a dam had broken, they erupted into cheers and applause. Looking good, birthday boy! Damn, Ridge, you clean up nice! That dress is everything! Ridge felt tears prick at his eyes as he was engulfed in hugs and well wishes. These were his friends, the people who'd known him for years, and they were embracing this new side of him without hesitation. As the night wore on, Ridge found himself relaxing more and more. He danced with abandon, reveling in the swish of his dress and the freedom of movement it allowed. He chatted and laughed with friends, fielding questions about his journey with honesty and humor. At one point, he found himself at the bar, catching his breath after a particularly energetic dance number. A handsome stranger sidled up next to him, flashing a dazzling smile. I hope this isn't too forward, the man said, but I just had to tell you how amazing you look. That dress is stunning on you. Ridge felt a blush creep up his cheeks. Thank you, he replied, surprised by how steady his voice sounded. 
I'm Ridge, by the way. Pleasure to meet you, Ridge. I'm Ethan. The man's eyes sparkled with genuine interest. Can I buy you a birthday drink? As Ridge nodded, accepting the offer, he caught Alice's eye across the room. She gave him a thumbs up and an exaggerated wink, mouthing, Get it! He laughed, shaking his head at her antics. The night stretched on, a blur of laughter, dancing, and heartfelt conversations. As the party began to wind down in the early hours of the morning, Ridge found himself overwhelmed with emotion. He'd spent so long hiding this part of himself, afraid of rejection and judgment. But here he was, surrounded by love and acceptance, finally free to be his true self. Alice appeared at his side, looking slightly disheveled, but radiant with happiness. So, birthday boy, was it everything you hoped for? Ridge pulled her into a tight hug, not trusting himself to speak past the lump in his throat. When he finally found his voice, it was thick with emotion. It was perfect, Al. Thanks for watching my girlies! Be sure to check out Patreon for more!